Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Demon. Today, I know it's full face cam. People are gonna get scared, but like, it's fine. Bear with me. I'm gonna be making a discussion on the things I did not like about this anniversary. So, before we do that, let's get into the positives first. First of all, the first good positive is this boss battle. I liked it a lot. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I think adding marines and a mini boss was definitely a good step. Having three different bosses means that it's all received fresh depending on what the day. And having two maps is definitely nice. Having It's the same map but one's during the day and one's during the night. And the night is like after the war and you see boats burning and fire everywhere and shit like that. And it's definitely, definitely really nice. And I definitely enjoyed this boss battle much more than the first one. Now I know the first one I grinded for top 500 or top 470. So I really went in on that one. But that was because it's the first one I was during my summer break. And so I had a lot of time to play. Now I have less time so... Um, definitely playing a lot less but i still try to keep within the top 10,000. Uh, i would definitely don't want to go less and now i still have a lot to farm so i'd have a lot of tickets saved up and i will do that it's just connecting connection issues today my internet's really bad so i'm not gonna play today so yeah that was the first positive second positive is the shanks banner now um shanks the banner of shanks was actually really good now i know people will say that two percent rate how can you say he's really good well let me tell you this. Shanks, first of all, is a really good character, but I'm thinking about the banner itself was really, really good because for 750 diamonds, think about it, guys, with a lot of free and uh, discounted multis, you're guaranteed two Shanks, right? Two Shanks. Um, two four-star characters, a black beard, and um, with all the free multis and the discounted multis, you did so many more multis and then, then the normal for 750, but with 7% trade, so you could get a lot of other characters. Now, I'm not saying you'll get Shanks. I didn't get Shanks, for example, besides the guaranteed ones, but, uh, and I used 200, that's why he's at level 80, but I used 200 frags, and um, you could do so much. You could get so many characters with the 7% chance. So um, that was really, really good, I think, for me. That banner was really good, much better than Bounty Fest, and uh, because Shanks was so great, I'd say even better than Step Ups. The Blackbeard banner though, that sucked. That sucked big time. Having no guaranteed whatsoever besides that 750, yeah, yeah, sure, there was the seven, there was the, the high chance uh, of getting um, there was the high chance of getting four stars with discounted multis and shit like that, but you had to do 750 for just one blackbeard. Uh, so that sucked. You know, for Shanks, you got two Shanks, a Blackbeard. And two other four stars. So that's five good shit guaranteed in 750. Besides all the great advantages of the banner itself. Here you're just guaranteed one black beard. So four less things than the other. So it's definitely not a good banner. A lot of people summoned on. If you watch my video, I would have you would have known that that wasn't the anniversary character. So if you summoned anyways, knowing it wasn't the anniversary banner, that sucks. I'm sorry, but you know, you you were told. I'm sure a lot of others could have told you that it wasn't the anniversary banner either. So that's for the positives. Now, another positive is, as you can see, I have 750 diamonds. Uh, after my Shanks video, I had 400 from the fact that uh, the band, Bandai gave us so many diamonds, including today, I think, a Twitter campaign that gave us 50 or more. So that was definitely very, very nice of them. And they gave out so many diamonds for the anniversary, which I really, really am happy with. So... Those were the good things. And in general, sounds great. The negatives, though, are very, pretty large. Because if you think about it, besides the fact that the banner was great and the amount of diamonds we got were great, these are things you kind of expect from an anniversary, right? And usually games do way more than that for their anniversary. You know, this is kind of things that, you know, they did it really nicely. I expected way worse for a banner and for the amount of diamonds we got. I expected way less, but we got that many and I'm really happy and I really, really am. And so, thank you Bandai for that. But the boss battle, yeah, it's upgraded, but this was kind of a natural thing. You know, you'd, you'd expect them to keep making the boss battle better every single time or else people will complain and not play them. So, I definitely like that. I like the rewards of the boss battle. Hopefully, they improve it next time. You know, maybe give more gems, more four-star fragments because we're spending a lot of time on this. Uh, but this was much better than the old boss battle, but it was just something we already had. And that's it. So, we didn't. I don't feel like we got enough content. Now... I was hoping during the anniversary we'd get a lot of uh, One Piece Treasure Cruise YouTubers try to make videos on the game. Maybe hopefully get in, maybe stream the game, you know, check it out, introduce the game to their audience. Maybe even some One Piece uh, anime and manga YouTubers could 
play it and hopefully enjoy it and maybe stick around and maybe make content and get their audience to try it out as well. That being said, that did not happen. It feels like this game is as alive as it was a week ago, like a week before the anniversary or a month before the anniversary. Like, it doesn't feel like so many new players are hopping in, checking out the game. I'm sure they definitely are, you know, but I feel like the promotion of this game for the anniversary wasn't there. Like, uh, at least in the global version, at least that's how I feel. Maybe numbers can change that, but in general, it doesn't feel like so many new YouTubers are hopping on, so many new things are coming and things like that. So it just feels like this anniversary was just a really, really good event and not an anniversary um, exactly. You know, a lot of people quit and that's another problem. Why are people quitting? Well, because now that we have Shanks and, and Blackbeard, only Kaido really stands close to them. And besides that, all other characters kind of suffer. And now people are like wondering, well, should I just never summon until the next Extreme Bounty Fest? And that's not something you want, you know? Like I know in Dokkan, I remember when LRs first came out, people had problems with it. I didn't play Dokkan like when LRs came out, but when, when they came out, the way I saw it was LRs are great. They're on most banners anyways, so you summon for the banner character, but if the LR is, if you get an LR, great, but you don't go for LRs. This game, it seems like they're kind of saying, go for Extreme Bounty Fest. Like, they're not gonna, if they're not gonna be in Bounty Fest and in Step Ups, well then, what is the point on summoning on those things? Because you're not gonna summon on the best units, you're gonna be summoning on the Extreme Bounty Fest, those are the best units. And so the game's just gonna stay Shanks, Blackbeard, whoever the next Bounty Fest is, maybe Fujitora, and... That's that, and that's that's the game. It's gonna be Shanks, Blackbeard, Fujitora, or whoever comes out. Maybe some Kaido, maybe some Dofi, maybe some Wanozora, and that's it. And uh, even those characters, like Dofi and Wanozora, they're not on the same tier anymore, like as Blackbeard and Shanks. And so a lot of people are quitting. A lot of people are saying this is not something they want to see. Um, personally, I agree, uh, because these characters are, are, are a bit too strong. Um, Shanks isn't that big of a deal once you get to know his matchup, but Blackbeard, like, it's impossible to kind of win him, but hopefully, you know, as we practice more and hopefully it becomes better, but the thing that I'm really scared of is Boost 3. If they release that, that's gonna suck. That's gonna suck big time. Then there'd be literally at that point no point in summoning. Even if you like those characters, it's, it's too bad. You'll have to get Extreme Bounty Fest Boost 3. Otherwise, you're just kind of not doing what you're supposed to. And that's that's definitely something very scary. And I'm very scared that that, that happens one day. So let's hope Boost 3 never comes. Because if it does, it's going to suck. Uh, and definitely going to remove a lot of the skill aspect about this game. Like some something about this game that I liked and that kept me playing for a year is the fact that I could outplay a better character so if i'm playing uh, a blue against one Zoro, i could still win if i outplay them but with the boosting boosting system it became harder and now boost three nah that's that's gonna be too much for me and i think i'll have to rethink all i was doing all of my plans for bounty rush and rethink definitely the whole the whole thing like what am i doing this for so i hope boost three doesn't come out boost one and boost two were already bad ideas i think but boost three terrible terrible so yeah that being said guys hope you enjoyed let me know your thoughts on this anniversary and peace